What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikolai Espresso and welcome back to another Infinite Warfare video here today on the channel. This one, a lot of people really want to know how to get the different variations in their weapons and things like that. So the big thing is salvage, but do we know exactly how it works? In this one, we're going to be taking a look at and breaking down how salvage works and the system as it is right now. But before we get too far into it, drop a like down below if you guys do enjoy. If you guys are new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing to stay up to date with everything Infinite Warfare and of course Modern Warfare Remastered as time goes on. But right now it's Infinite Warfare show with the beta. So this one, we're going to be talking once again about salvage, the in-game currency that everybody seems to want, but can they actually get much of at the moment? The way that salvage works is that you earn it here via playtime and other challenges, and then you can go into the prototype weapons and buy different variations. It works in a tiered system, so you can't buy that top tier one right off the bat. You have to buy the lower variations first, and then it moves up into the rare, legendary, and epic categories after the commons. It's a nice little way that it gives you the ability to earn and purchase weapons in game without having to get them out of supply drops, like we saw the variants work in Advanced Warfare. However, this system can get a little bit tedious because the jumps are quite large in terms of the different tiers and how much they cost in terms of salvage points. I went from a 200 to I think 650 and then up to 1600 for those sequential tiers of the weapon that I want, which is currently the Envy 4 Fallout, which does have a nuclear attached to it and as a result really piques my interest. So that is a third tier weapon, but definitely has a huge price tag. So that said, I think that it really falls now on the ability of how how can we get more salvage points and is it possible to get them faster? Well, you start out with a certain amount of salvage points. I've heard that there are varying reports of what people have to start the beta with and then that's really about it because sadly the system works very slow and at least in the beta build it does not grant players as much for just simply playing the game and completing challenges. I noticed that I'd get one salvage token about every five games or so if not more. So is it something that you can get them rather fast? Not necessarily. There is one thing though that is nice here with this is the fact that upon the start of the beta the first day, I backed out, I closed out my application and restarted the game and I got a little bit of a notice saying that I got 1000 salvage points for simply logging on and season pass holders will get more as the game goes on. Now. If this is something that's daily, that's definitely very nice. Get 1,000 salvage points just for logging on and playing the game a little bit. That's something that will be very useful and very helpful, but I don't know if that's going to be something that happens every single day in the beta. Then the next way to actually get salvage points faster is via supply drops. And this is the only way that I've seen that really can expedite the system and definitely does make earning salvage points a little bit easier. However, it does then buy into that supply drop market, which a lot of people are not too fond of. So you gain keys at the same rate, essentially as Black Ops 3 is about two to three, depending on the game, the win streak, and how well you do and things like that. But then if you add in that fact that you only get one salvage token per X amount of games, it definitely does make the process very slow. However, if you then save up your keys and and then buy supply drops, rare supply drops specifically, you get salvage bonus, which then expedites that system very quickly. I know that in one of my supply drops, I got 17 salvage points in one drop. So that is definitely something that is a lot quicker. 17 salvage points in about 30 seconds, as opposed to about an hour of game time. So as it stands right now, it definitely is something that does require you to play it, incentivizes you to play the game more and more. And though it does take a little bit of time, it is in its purest form, very fair in how players can do this. Everybody's on the same playing field here with this and as of right now, I'm okay with that It does take a little bit of time, but I'm willing to work through it here And especially if there's that 1000 daily bonus, that's something that's very nice as well So for the question that I'm sure a lot of you guys are looking to be answered Is it possible to get salvage points fast? As it stands right now, not necessarily. Unless you somehow get a ton of keys and can open up a bunch of supply drops, that's something that it's going to take a little bit of time. And hopefully that 1000 bonus, if you guys have seen that around, it does come back for everybody daily. That'd be something that would really help. And definitely if they're so adamant on their crafting system for the beta and showcasing it, that's definitely something we wanna see here because otherwise we can't really purchase too many variants in game. But my one and only concern is that this becomes something monetarily incentivized because as I said, it is very hard to earn salvage fast. It's something that you have to play a lot and especially you have to test your luck in supply drops. So that then teeters on the edge of the option of being able to purchase salvage points or COD points to get supply drops and then therefore salvage points subsequently. That's something that it then teeters on the edge of that becoming something that instead of playing the large amount of time that you have to do so to get salvage points by simply earning them, there is that then shortcut via money to be able to buy salvage points or COD points and supply drops which give you salvage points. So. 
I won't lie, I'm a little bit worried about that, but for the time being, this is how it works, and until then, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there, but that is how the system works here. Once again, just a short recap for you guys. You earn salvage via challenges and playtime and or supply drops, depending on what you do here and which one you feel grants you more, and then you can use those salvage points to buy weapon variants and in different tiers to work your way up to the best variants available via salvage. So that is something that it's an in-game currency. It just works out like that, and you can earn it in game but it is definitely something that is expedited if you have supply drops and keys to buy supply drops so that said leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below are you guys a fan of this system do you guys feel like it is something that right now you can't earn near as much salvage as you would like that's how i feel but i'd love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below any thoughts are always greatly welcomed and of course greatly appreciated but if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you drop a like rating down below and if you guys are new to the channel make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with everything infinite warfare the beta is right now upon us and we have a lot of stuff still planned here on the channel so stick it right here. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. My name is Nicolai Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Take care and peace.